what you talking about now, saying? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore seen underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge and freedom i'm out constantly told you like i've dealt with i've dealt with a woman who would you know she said one powerful sentiment to me and it kind of made it she said until i'm married i'm single okay nigga, do your single shit <laughs> do your single shit without me because i already see where this is going you feel what i'm saying that was her love language she expressed that shit to me you feel me until I'm married, I am single. That's some powerful shit. That means even if we dating, she, we living together, we doing whatever it is, I'm single until there's a ring on it. You feel me? Either you gonna get like get married to her fast, the fuck, or you know what I'm saying? Let it go. You feel me? I let it go. Like, cause there's motherfuckers out there that's, you know what I'm saying, that's not gonna be on that shit. You feel me? But the point that I'm making is, if you see the love language, and then you like, okay, you know, I dealt with another woman who told me, she said, I just want to have children. She said, I really, she said, it really doesn't matter who the father is at the end of the day. She said, but I'm going to have children. Not going to be with me. Like, now if I would have said, okay, I'll be with you and this, this, and this, I, I had to be smart about the shit. You feel what I'm saying? Now, knowing that she said that, knowing that she's expressed this to me, and I go on and continue to have sex with her, I'm protected and raw and shit, like, I did that to myself. <laughs> I did that to myself because the love language was there and that's what it was. But that's how that relationship was. You feel me? That's how that relationship was expressed. So it all still goes back in and ties into reality. Our relationships are built off of certain principles and certain things. And they have to go back into our upbringing. You feel what I'm saying? When I looked at that, the, um, those young ladies' um, upbringing, am I mad at them for, for having that philosophy and that ideology? No. You know what I'm saying? It's conditioning. This is what was supposed to happen. You feel what I'm saying? And then, like, the, the reality of what the fuck happens and shit, this is how it plays out, bro. This is how it plays out. Same shit. Like, the women that I did fucked up shit to. At the time, those were my love languages. You feel me? Fuck. Like, this is, this is what it was. Like, this is how I'm looking at it. You know what I mean? And that's how it played out. You know? So, you gotta, we, we all gotta deal with that shit, but we need to work on our relationships. We need to work on... How, how we're going to present ourselves to, these, to, to the people that we're dealing with. And then we can't get upset and be mad at a motherfucker who don't want us. You feel me? That is a problem. It's just like, if you express your love language to me and I say I don't speak it or if I don't want to deal with it, if I don't want to be involved with it, don't fucking run no guilt trip. Well, I know I'm a good woman. I know I'm this and this. You might be. You might be perfect. Just not for me. You know, I don't speak your language. You don't speak mine. You feel what I'm saying? I got certain shit that I want to deal with. Now, don't learn my language and then try to uh, use that shit against me. You feel me? Because I got to peep that shit too. If I'm expressing, okay, this is what I do. This is how I live. This is what it is. I want to do it too. I want to do it too. All right, cool. Because then when that shit comes into reality, now it's time to put your shit to the test and you crumble. All right, you got to go. You got to go. It's that simple. You feel what I'm saying? Because you don't really speak my, my, my language. You don't. You know what I'm saying? You learn my language. You can interpret it. You feel what I'm saying? You can even understand it. You, you know, took your little college class, your little high school class. You got your two credits into the shit. You feel what I'm saying? So you know about the language, but you don't speak it. You're not fluent in what I'm speaking. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what we need to be. We need to keep that same ideology and that same mentality, especially with our relationship. But no, we got to first begin to know ourselves, know our own, our own love language. How the fuck are we trying to love people? You feel what I'm saying? How the fuck are we actually trying to love people? Are we, are we, are, is our love contingent upon us being submissive? When you when you internalize, this is strictly for my sisters right now. When you follow a philosophy that teaches women to be submissive and your love language is to be submissive and to give up and relinquish. Fuck the semantics right now. Submission means to give up. I'm going to leave it at that because I already know how this can go. But when the shit is built upon you submitting to a man, your love language becomes submission. And you think it's an accident why you get treated the way you treat it? 
because you're you're presenting yourself as a submissive being. You feel me? You're submit. You're you're presenting yourself in that. You're expressing this is my love language. My love language is to submit to let the man lead, to let the man do this, let the man do that, let the man be this man. The man does that. You have to take all that comes with the submission too. All that comes with the submission. How does that man now internalize what submission is as a love language? 